Yeah, I think in this study, I um, saw that the median time to surgery was around seven days. So I wonder if, you know, the timing of the surgery um, was too soon with the uh, neoadjuvant treatment followed by the post-op treatment. And of course, there's no uh, right or wrong answer because this is one of the first studies in this field that has reported data. But I think we really need to have a more multidisciplinary approach where the surgeons should be aware of complications. You know, I've had several surgeons who are um, operating on patients who get neoadjuvant immunotherapy in bladder cancer sometimes report that the surgical field is a little different. You know, it, it's, it's difficult to say what the long-term sequelae of these therapies are. Now, putting this in context with COVID-19, there's a lot of um, interest in understanding, you know, the pulmonary toxicities with these agents and a patient presenting with pulmonary symptoms, which is one of the classic presenting complaints with COVID-19. And we've had several patients um, get admitted where they've had immunotherapy either currently or in the past. And it becomes challenging to really pinpoint what is immunotherapy related and what could be COVID related, even if the test negative.